Right after um, Brexit and Trump got elected president at Site Online, we thought, what can we do to overcome some of the polarization in our own society in Germany? And we came up with this experiment called Germany Talks. The idea is very simple. We ask our readers whether they want to meet a complete stranger who has opposing political views for a one-on-one -on -one match. Think about it as political Tinder, if you will. The way that work, this works is like this. We have an embed on our website that asks five polarizing questions like, Do you, um, are you for or against same-sex marriage? And people would answer those questions and provide their zip code and some contact details. And then we have a fancy matching algorithm that um, kind of pairs people up and introduces them to somebody who lives close to, um, close to them and um, who then you know, they can get in touch with and agree on a meeting spot where they want to meet. 12,000 people sign up, and in the end, 1,200 actually, so we think, um, came together on the same day at the same time all over Germany um, to have a discussion. So here you see a policeman on the left um, who's against same-sex marriage um, meeting a woman who's living in a relationship with her female partner, for example. This was um, a match in Dresden. The guy on the right is actually a supporter of the right-wing AfD party in Germany, and the woman on the left supports pregnant women in difficult situations in their lives. Then there was the um, somewhat funny um, example of these two. The one on the left is a professor, and the one on the right is his student. This was something the, <laughs> the algorithm did. <laughs> hey, I got 15 seconds. <laughs> and, and they disagreed on whether Germany took in too many refugees um, and had a good discussion about that. That's also the issue that these two disagreed about, and one of them has a mother who migrated from Egypt, so I'm sure they had um, something to talk about in Berlin when they met last year. Um, after um, the day, we got um, feedback. People sent us selfies and emails, and it was overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly very positive. So for some people, it was extremely eye-opening to meet someone who you know, thinks differently about certain political issues of our, of our times. Um, so as we were reading this feedback and thinking, you know, what could we do next, um, we started to get some requests from other countries where media organizations were saying, we need this in our country as, as well. We all got polarized societies these days. And then we decided, OK, great, we're going to build this into a tool, into a, a platform, effectively, that anybody could just use. Right? And that's what we did, and full disclosure, um, supported by Google. We invited an um, initial set of partners to come to Berlin and give us feedback on what we did last year and contribute their own ideas um, and tell us a bit you know, about the issues that are relevant to their societies um, and to talk about you know, what events we can, we can do together. And During that workshop, we, we ran into some really interesting discussions about the individual countries and how they're different. Just to give you one example, did you know that in Norway, it's an extremely contentious issue about to do about wolves? <laughs> Thinking about werewolves? There's supposed to be a picture of the... We're waiting for the wolf now. Did it break down? Oh, no, wait. There's... Some... So it's a beautiful picture of a wolf. <laughs> And people in Norway cannot agree whether we should kill more wolves because they're dangerous or actually protect these animals. Um, the guy you see here on the right is called Alessio. He's from La Repubblica in Italy, and he was part of this workshop. And he said, we need this tool right away. We need to do a test event. And we said, great, let's do it. Um, <laughs> software wasn't quite finished, but never mind. So we, two weeks ago, we actually launched L'Italia Li Sipala. Um, which is limited to 50 matches in Bologna, but nevertheless it ended up on um, La Repubblica homepage and they partnered with HuffPost Italia and we were thinking, oh, oh gosh, are enough people going to sign up? But we had to actually close the sign up way earlier than expected because um, the interest of the Italians were, was just that great. So now we're in the stage on Friday, we actually send out the matching emails, we push the button and people started to agree that they want to meet their match. This is a German town called Ulm. We're also running a small test event in Ulm currently. You'll never believe that one of the issues there at the moment is whether it's too loud in the city because of the church bells. And <laughs> it's true. <laughs> um, this is from this is a original screenshot from our software. There's a button that says create new event. And I want all of you actually to come to me after my talk and um, together we can push that button and set up events like this all over the world. You can partner with other media organizations in your part of the world 
in your country to make it as diverse as possible. And we already have interest from many countries. Um, some of them are in the audience, Switzerland, Austria, Norway. <laughs> it's going to do it for the wolves. <laughs> And now we now we skipped we skipped the picture from Alaska, because the for me the most intriguing request so far comes from Alaska. I learned about Alaska that people would have to take boats and small airplanes to actually meet their match, and I said challenge accepted. We're going to do Alaska talks probably in November, so that's it. Thank you.